Welcome back everyone to TV5 News at 9. More than 66,000 people will find out they have pancreatic cancer this year. Nearly 52,000 will die from that disease. Calling in this morning just to tell us a little bit more about some treatment options, Dr. Brian Ye. Dr. Ye, as always, thanks for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. All right, we love it. And can you start us off telling us why pancreatic cancer is so deadly? So the real problem with pancreatic cancer is there's a high risk that it can spread beyond the pancreas. Um, and, you know, even in patients who have, so in patients, unfortunately, patients who present with pancreatic cancer has already spread to the lymph nodes. Um, there's about a 90% chance it's already spread to the rest of the body. Mm. Unfortunately, um, even in patients with pancreatic cancer that hasn't spread to the lymph nodes, there's still about a 50% chance that it's spread beyond the pancreas, beyond the lymph nodes into other parts of the body, like either the brain or the bones or the lungs or the liver. Um, and these are essential organs that if they're damaged by the cancer, you know, it can cause serious um, complications. Um, so that's really the issue with pancreatic cancer. There's a high risk that it can spread beyond the pancreas. Uh, once it spreads beyond the pancreas, we don't really have, we have chemotherapy that works, but it only works typically for a short period of time. Um, we don't have any, uh, what we consider like home run um, chemotherapy agents, which can basically eradicate and cure patients um, after it's spread. However, chemotherapy can help patients and it can help patients live, you know, for, you know, you know, for, 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 you know, for a few years, you know, typically, you know, you know, two to five years with the chemotherapy if it's spread beyond the pancreas. There is still there is still hope um, in about 10% of patients um, where it's spread to the lymph nodes and about 50% of patients where it hasn't spread to the lymph nodes. Um, those patients it hasn't spread and those patients can be cured from the can be cured um, you know, with conventional treatment. So there is still hope, although the, the issue is that it, it's a, it is a very aggressive malignancy and there's a high risk that it spreads beyond, um, beyond the pancreas. And Dr. Ye, any warning signs that people should be on the lookout for for pancreatic cancer? Yes, so um, the symptoms usually um, for pancreatic cancer include abdominal pain, the tumor can cause pain. Mm. It can actually also cause back pain. Um, it can also cause something called jaundice um, when people notice that their skin turns a little yellow or the whites of their eyes turn a little yellow or they notice that their urine gets a little bit darker in color. Um, you know, these, and sometimes also with pancreatic cancer can also cause nausea or vomiting. So, you know, if patients have any of these symptoms that, you know, that are persistent, you know, lasting more than I say a day or two, they should definitely um, seek medical attention. All right, and Dr. Ye, McLaren Proton Therapy Center can treat these cancers. Why would you say proton therapy is a good treatment option for pancreatic cancer, you know, compared to your traditional radiation? So the pancreas is located in a part of the body that's very close to the liver. It's also very close to the intestines, um, the kidneys, and it's a very difficult area to deliver radiation therapy um, because of the sensitivity of the liver um, and the intestines and the kidneys. Um, proton therapy is a more focused form of radiation therapy um, that is it better able to avoid delivering radiation um, to the intestines, to the liver, um, to the kidneys, and so it's safer. Um, let me just show you one slide here. So th this here is a is, is, is a picture on the left um, is a is is a proton therapy plan. So this is a, a patient who we treated with proton therapy, mm. and we made a comparison plan with X-ray therapy as well to show the difference. So on the left here in red is the area of the highest dose, and this is where the pancreatic tumor is. Um, and then here on the left is the proton therapy plan. Now, where the radiation is going, you see the colors. This is called the color wash. So um, red is sort of the highest doses, and blue is sort of the lowest dose, and green is sort of an intermediate dose. So you can see here on the left, the proton therapy plan is much more focused. Um, here, here on the left, this is the liver. You can see the liver here gets almost no radiation, whereas here on the right, this is an x-ray plan. So I forgot to mention, x-ray is considered conventional radiation therapy. This is the regular radiation therapy is available in about, was available, it's available all throughout the country at about thousands of hospitals. Um, proton therapy is a more focused form of treatment that's really only available about 50 hospitals around the country. Mm. So again, on the left is a proton therapy plan, on the right is an x-ray therapy plan. You can see on the x-ray therapy on the right, you know, this here is the liver. The liver is getting a lot more radiation therapy with x-ray therapy. You can see here the kidneys, the kidneys are these little round things um, mm. on both sides of the body. These yeah. are the kidneys. The kidneys are getting a lot more radiation therapy with x-ray therapy. And then the intestines are these, sort of these, um, sort of this, the intestines are here, sort of, uh, I can, I can understand how to say that these are called loops of bowel here. They're sort of around, they surround 
the pancreas. So you can see here the pancreas is entirely surrounded. There's liver on one side, kidneys on one side, intestines on the other side. It's a very hard area to um, treat with radiation therapy. However, on, with proton therapy, here on the left, you can see here it's very focused. Um, here the liver is getting just a tiny bit of radiation here at the tip right here. The intestines are getting essentially almost no radiation. Yeah. And now the kidneys are getting some, but one kidney is getting essentially no radiation. Whereas with x-ray therapy, the liver, the kidneys, the intestines are all getting some radiation. With with proton therapy, which is the plan out here on the left, you can see that the rest of the body is getting much less radiation. This makes the treatment a lot safer to give and a lot better tolerable with, with, with fewer side effects. Yeah, that's good to know. Okay, very good. And if someone is newly diagnosed, they're exploring their options, Dr. Ye, how can they get in touch with McLaren Proton Therapy Center? So the best way is just give us a call. Uh, we have um, nurses who are able to speak with patients and go over um, what we call their history, go over um, you know what, what their situation is, and um, and we can sort of be able to give them personalized recommendations and to find out whether or not they are a candidate for proton therapy or not. So the best way is to give us a call. Um, our number is area code eight five five, and it's my proton. It's M Y P R O T O N, um, or they can check us out on our website at McLaren.org forward slash proton therapy. Dr. Ye, anything else that you want to add about pancreatic cancer and proton therapy? I would just add that there is hope. Uh, I know that pancreatic cancer has um, a reputation for being very aggressive. However, um, there are there's research ongoing. Uh, we actually have clinical trials here for pancreatic cancer here at the uh, McLaren Proton Therapy Center. Yeah. Um, and there is hope. Um, you know, I have seen patients live a long time um, you know, with treatment and definitely, you know, for five plus years. So there's definitely hope and um, and every every day there's ongoing research. So you know, every day there is news coming out with potentially um, better treatments for pancreatic cancer. Well, thank you, Dr. Ye, and thank you for keeping the hope alive in people who live in mid-Michigan. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. And for more information, of course, on the Proton Therapy Center, you can find it in the Hot Links section on our website, WNEM.com.